Hey everybody, today's video is titled, it's kind of part of a collaboration, and it's called The Last Thing I Thrifted Fall Edition. So uh, a couple friends and I got together and we challenged each other to go thrifting, find something, and make something fall, like fall related. Um, I may have to redo this part, who knows, maybe I'll leave it in. But I went to the Pacific Northwest at the end of June, of July, and I got back, I think, on the 29th or 28th, and um, then I got COVID on Sunday. <laughs> or I came down with the COVID symptoms on Sunday, tested positive, and um, yes. But I wanted to start filming because um, <laughs> I, I don't know how much time I'll have before you know the videos do and when I get all back good and, and going and, and work gets busy again so let me show you what I found so my son and daughter-in-law live in Portland Oregon and they have I'm gonna have to look up the name of the store but I think it's called vintage creation no what are vintage creations something vintage treasures maybe and it was just kind of like a vintage shop and it had a whole bunch of stuff in it they had clothes they had furniture they had shoes and they had some really nice like you know they're vintage used but they're you know cool shoes and just a whole bunch of stuff and it was actually a pretty big store like when you look at the outside you think oh it's just like a little no it was big anyway in the bins where the like craft stuff was they had this bag and it was only three dollars for all these little wood pieces i just bought something a smaller size of this for i think 3.99 at hobby lobby so this was a good deal i have no idea what i'm going to do with it but yeah i thought it was a good deal in portland they didn't really have i didn't have that much chance to go to a bunch of shops because i was there primarily to see the new grand baby so um i went to the one shop and we found the little wood circles and then um i left portland and i drove to tri-cities which is kennewick richland and pasco washington my son lives in benton city which is right on the edge and so i stayed there for a few days and we did we did stop at some shops there but i didn't really i wasn't really hunting then and then from there i went to tacoma washington to see my youngest triplet and um it, it, we did go thrifting uh, to at least, we went to one Goodwill, I think. Maybe we went to two. But anyways, I know we went to one because I found this. And I kind of don't like, yeah, I like the mirrors. But I don't like the mirrors at all, actually. But I wanted like something like this. Um, because I just thought it'd be fun like to have, <laughs> I just thought it'd be fun to have. That's why I wanted it. So I was looking kind of like for a spice rack or like a little cubby hole thing like this. And I was like, perfect. So what I'm gonna make over for today's video is this. And we're gonna see how it works out. Enough talking about it. Let's be about it. Let's get some crafting done. On this channel, I love to share easy DIYs and budget home decor. If we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. I don't know, I'm probably gonna have to do like a voiceover for all of this, but that's okay. So I don't know if like this is, like, I'm not 100% sure this is real wood, but I'd seen a bunch of people on, like, TikTok and Instagram use Easy Off to strip it. And I'm not mad at the color, but I thought if I could just kind of, like, lighten it up and kind of bleach the wood a little bit, I thought that might go more along with the look I was going for. Because I really don't like the, I don't like this color as much. <laughs> but and I do have another spice rack over there that's almost the same color, but anyways, I just thought I was going to try this easy off oven method. And you have to do it in a well ventilated area. This room is not that one, that room, so we'll have to take this outside, but I just kind of wanted to show you what I was going to do first. Before we even get into that, I wanted to share that this video is part of a collaboration. I joined five of my DIY gal pals and we called this the last thing thrifted fall Halloween edition. And I'm joining today Monica from Up All Night DIY, Annie from Crafting with Indiana Jones, Jody at Jody at Southern Seasons, and Dawn at Shabby Meets, Bl Meets Bling, and Zaina from OK at Home DIY. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna have their channels listed below. Please, please check it out because they are some really crafty ladies and I know you're gonna enjoy what they have to share today. So I'm out here <laughs> um, by my garage and I've got 
the thing right there, and I've got a plane going high overhead, and I've got some Easy Off. So what I've read you do is you spray the Easy Off onto the wood piece, and then let it set for about 20 minutes. And I also have a scrubber, so I can just, um, just got the set Dollar Tree, and so I can kind of scrub some of the wood, like stain off. I don't know if it's really gonna work, but we're gonna try it, because if not, I'll paint it. So anyway, I just wanted to try it, see if it worked. I took the Easy Off oven cleaner, and I just sprayed the heck out of this thing. I just tried to spray all over, frontwards, backwards, up, down, on the sides, on the back, all of it and just give it a really, really good coat. And then I'm gonna let it set for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna try to scrub some of it off and see what we have. Oh my gosh, y'all, I almost forgot to tell you. I have a crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. And I'd love it if you join. And if you join, please share a project that you're working on because I would love to support and encourage you in your creativeness. And um, I hope you'll support and encourage everybody else in the group. So thank you so much. Link will be below. This is how it's looking about 20 minutes after having sprayed this stuff on. And so I'm going to take this right here I mean it looks a little lighter and then there's stuff on here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it down to the curb area because Marvin said don't do it by the driveway he doesn't want anything to get on the driveway <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna um, I'm just gonna do this a little bit and um, see what I can take off and hope for the best Oh, and I'm gonna rinse it off too. Like I'll rinse it off with the hose and then um, like scrub, rinse off, scrub, rinse off, scrub, that kind of thing until I'm happy or at least happier with how it looks. Are you watching mama? Are you watching mama do stuff? Okay, this is how it's looking right now. Obviously you can see a little bit of a difference between this and this, but it's not all lightening up at the same like tone or intensity or whatever. And um, I rinsed it off. I scrubbed it a little bit. It's a little hard to scrub it in the cubbies because of the scrub brush I was using. But tomorrow I think I'll stick it out in the sun because if I had thought about it, I would have done this earlier and let it like dry in the sun and maybe the sun would bleach it some, but you know, here we are and it is what it is. So I'll check back with y'all later. Here's how it's looking this morning after drying all night. There are some spots like right here didn't really um, come off as much as like it did over here. And then the top did lighten up, but there, there are just some spots that it just didn't really lighten up. So I think what I'm gonna do is wait a little bit because it's morning time and the sun's, I mean, the sun's out, but it's not as intense. So I think I'm gonna wait for it to be a little more intense and then I'm gonna use some more of the Easy Off and try to get, you know, some of the spots that didn't really get um, this last, or first time I tried it and see how it turns out. I took my finger sander and I am just trying to sand down some spots that I see that are a little bit rough, a little bit splintered maybe because it got too dry when it was outside in the heat. And then also I was trying to sand to see if I could take off some of those uneven spots that I mentioned earlier because I thought, you know, maybe I could like make it look more like I was going for the bleached wood look. I was just trying for a different thing, trying a new idea. And you know, I mean, it didn't really work out that well. So I decided to take some Waverly chalk paint in the color Moss and I just painted this entire piece. Now, this particular color does remind me of fall, but I mean, you could also use it for spring. It's not like it's a one season color, but I thought this would be a neut neutral enough color that it would work for what I'm trying to do. Like I said, I am just painting Top, bottom, front, back. I'm just trying to get all around. I'm not really worried about the back because there is gonna be a backing to it that I'm about to show you. The original backing was right there. But I painted one side white because I'm gonna be putting some material down and I didn't want it the brown color to show through. I thought I had some fall fabric in my stash and I do not. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys, um, I'm just kind of measuring out here, so just bear with me. I thought, well, you know, like, you actually could change this to be like 
seasonal like you could change out this back fabric you could even use scrap of paper y'all but i'm using fabric i thought i'm not gonna like glue it down because i think i kind of want to change it out for the seasons but i've just got to figure out a way to put the backing on so that it stays and it's easy to change out but i'm just cutting out around and then i'm going to attach it to the back I am not sure if I want to make this permanent or not because I thought I had some green plaid um, or like check print in my stash. I did not. So um, I just pulled out this piece because it was neutral enough and I thought it would go with the color, but it has like birds or bees on it, I think. And so I am just using some masking tape and I'm kind of wrapping it kind of like a present and just tacking it down that way because again, I'm not sure if I want to keep this fabric. I kind of want the green check because I think that'd be a lot more neutral, but it might be a lot busier too. I don't know. Um, give me your thoughts and your, what do, what do you guys think? Tell me below. Now that I've got it covered, voila, this is how it's looking, right? This is supposed to be a fall piece. My original idea was to put different things in the cubbies for each different season. And that's why I wanted that fabric back there to be very neutral but I just love how this orange pops off and really works well with that green color and the fabric that's behind it. So let me know what you guys think below. What would you guys do? Um, since this was fall, that's why I brought up the pumpkins and I just love how it looks. And y'all, that's what I made today and I appreciate so much you joining me and crafting with me and I appreciate the company so, so much. And if you wanna follow me here on YouTube or other social media like TikTok, Instagram, um, Facebook or whatever <laughs> my handle over there is our gray house but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy y'all bye doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo.